So, Uddhari Sathmana Asmanam Nathmanam Ausadayet. You have to elevate your, yourself by yourself. Nobody can elevate yourself. No other element can elevate yourself. You have to elevate yourself with yourself. There is no other element which will help you to push up. You have to push it with all your might because you have got that power. That power you have ignored. Invoke that power within you. Find out that power that you have got. Uddhare You have to rise with your own might. Nathmanam ausadayat. You should not kick yourself in, in the depth of ignorance. Atmaeva yatmano bandur. Atmaeva haribur atmanam. Your own self is your friend when realized and your own self becomes your enemy when not realized. Have you understood? There is no other way of means. There is no other way. Abhidu Atmaeva. Atmaeva means Maneva. Your own mind. Your own mind has become when, when, when your mind is elevated, it takes the formation of God consciousness. When God consciousness is God consciousness has passed in the inferior field that God consciousness becomes mind. Huh? Huh? No, my mind. Mind is the formation of chiti. In upper plane, in elevated plane, there is chiti. In in low, low, lowest plane, chiti becomes just mind. Substance of thoughts, varieties of thoughts. Chiti reva chetana pradasa varula chiti sankochini chitam. When you are given to objective world, you become mind. If you are if you reside in a subjective world, you become unmind, unminded and you become consciousness. That is Chaiti, consciousness. Bandurātmā atmanas dasya yenātmai vātmana ajitam ajitātmanas du shatrudde varte dātmai vishatruvan This is another shloka. Which one? Six Shuloka. Bandurātmā ātmanas tasya yenātmai vātmanājitam his, his ātmā is bandhu, his ātmā is friend to, to him. His self is friend to him who has, by his own self, treatment, who has who has conquered his mind in being unminded. Ajitātmanasu, who has not conquered his mind in being unminded. For him, your own self behaves just like enemy for him. He becomes his enemy. Otherwise, he is his friend. He will he'll push him up. And otherwise, he will kick him down. 
Bandhuratmatmanastasya. This is a unique way of Abhinavurta's commentary on Bhagavad Gita. I have not explained it to you clearly. I have, but not in that way. Jitamihi Manomitram. If mind is conquered, he becomes your friend. Manomitram. Mitram means he, he, he is your friend. He is not your enemy then. Gorachara samsara uddharanam kuroti. He will make you ele, elevated from, from furious, furious uh, chakra of defeated births and deaths. He will elevate you at once. He will become your past friend to elevate you from that narak. Ajitam tu. If you, you, if you don't conquer him, then tiyuri nidhi ipadhanat shatratam kati. He will kick you in hells and he will behave like great enemy to you. Jidadhmana prashandai se paramatma samahida shi toshna sukhudukkeshu tatha mana manayom Jidadhmana prashandai se who is prashant, who is appeased, whose mind is appeased, one pointed, has become paramatma Samahita, Paramatma is absolutely shaking, ha- shaking ha- hands with him permanently. On which occasion, Shita, when there is, when there is a, Shita, Shita means when there is cold, cold wave. Ushna when there is hot wave, Sukha when there is pleasure, Dukha when there is pain, Tatha Mana when there is respect and when there is disrespect. When all these actions are there, Paramatma is there with you, shaking hands with you. No matter, go on, go on, it's the glamour of God. No matter if what is what is good and what is bad, it is all divine formation of Parabhairav. Jitatman, how beautiful this shloka is. Jitatmana prashantasya paramatma samahit. Paramatma is there. Paramatma is there. Supreme Parabhairav remains by his side. He sits here in his lap while, while, uh, while facing all these ups and downs of the world. He remains with him. <laughs> don't, don't worry, this is also glamour. This is also your glamour. He, he presses his body at that time. Or when he is cold, he warms it up. When he is drunk, he keeps him aware. Whatever he does, if he takes wine and he is drunk, that doesn't matter. He serves him in the Lord. 